to whoever needs to hear this, 2023 is going to look exactly like 2022 if you don't get out of your comfort zone. It's time to change. Hi, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a super exciting video. I'm so excited. I've had this video idea in my head for a few weeks now. I've never seen anyone do this and I just think it would be so much fun. I'm going to kind of combine a little like date day with myself with doing things to get out of my comfort zone. So I have been journaling the last few weeks, not really journaling, but like making a list of things that I want to do that are like outside of my comfort zone. And I just want to note that for everyone, they're going to be so completely different. Like one of mine is to go to the library which might make people laugh but i'll explain after why it's out of my comfort zone so remember this is a very safe and welcoming space we are not going to judge anyone for what makes them feel uncomfortable or what is out of their comfort zone because i'll experience things differently but i'm so excited for today's video i actually just posted a few instagram stories but i have spent my entire morning crying especially a week and a half out from my iod removal and let's just say my skin is purging i know that you guys can't really tell i hope you can't and that's not because i don't want to be vulnerable on here but i was just in such a bad mood that in order to like get myself up and film i had to like do my makeup and make myself feel better so yeah i'll talk a bit more about that in the other videos coming this week and next week but it's been a really rough last few days. I had a really bad weekend. My mental health was just in the gutter this weekend. It's getting really cold here. And I just really kind of wanted to have like a little bit of a self-care day and just do fun things. But I'm also challenging myself to still work on my goals and push myself. So give myself grace. I find it a really like fine balance of trying to do both of those things, right? Like today, I just had like a really bad mental health day, really bad morning. And I gave myself grace to feel what I was feeling this morning, but I told myself like by lunchtime, you know, we're turning the day around and that's what I'm doing. And I'm still trying to kind of push myself towards those goals while also giving myself grace, which isn't always the easiest thing, but I'm trying. But anyways, I'm super, super excited. So the plan for today is we are going to first head to my favorite coffee shop. And I think I'm gonna try a new drink which is like kind of scary and exciting. Um, I am a very like routine coffee drinker, but I kind of just want to try something new. So I think I might get like a dirty chai. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I end up getting. Um, and then I also want to eat at the coffee shop and read because that whole compilation of things is like very out of my comfort zone. I love coffee, I love to read, I love to eat. But I never really sit in a coffee shop and read. I always just like, am, are people judging me? Like, and, and the whole point of this video is that no one cares what you're doing, right? Like, you do you. But I never really read in coffee shops. And I never really go out to eat by myself. And I think I want to make this like a series and do it every month. But today's like the stepping stone. And I know it sounds silly, but like eating by myself in a coffee shop is like the first step. And then like step two will be like going out to eat at a restaurant. And I think baby steps are more than okay. And yeah, I'm super excited. I really wanted to go to a museum today by myself, but they're all closed for the week in Ottawa um, for like just like annual refurbishment. Uh, then we're going to go to the library, like I said, which if you guys know me, it's funny because I always grew up going to the library, but um, I since just like the pandemic and everything, I just have like a germy yeah and so i don't go to the library a ton because it kind of grosses me out which i'm not saying the library is gross but it just like grosses me out touching books that a hundred other people have touched but i kind of want to slowly conquer that so i think i might go to the library which is kind of exciting see what we can find and then i guess we'll kind of just see where the rest of the day takes us while we're out running errands Tonight we're also trying a new cuisine and I'll get into that later, but we're actually having Indian food for dinner, which is shocking. I've never had it. I'll explain that whole situation later, but I'm super, super excited. So honestly, let's get all of our things together. Let's head to the coffee shop and I'm excited to turn this day around and also just challenge myself a little bit. So let's go.
Alrighty, guys, I had so much fun at the coffee shop. I feel like no one talks about things that used to be a routine that now in a new phase of life or out of your comfort zone. So when I was in college and working full-time at the hospital, I'd have like these like chunks of time to kill between like lecture and then going to work. And so I'd work in coffee shops and all that stuff. But now that I am in the season of life of working from home and juggling so much, it kind of like seems out of the way to get out of the house to do stuff, but it was actually really refreshing. And I kind of want to maybe get out of the house and work at coffee shops more. It was harder before because I was working with sensitive information like patient information so I obviously couldn't really get out of the house and work but now I think I can depending on the day and just like getting admin work done and so I really want to start maybe getting out of the house once a week on like my grad school days just even work on some grad school I think that would be really really nice and also my chai latte was so yummy that was just all around out of my comfort zone I've talked about this before but I don't love milky drinks I don't really love lattes and I've never had chai before and I don't like to try new things well that's a lot I like to try new things but try new things in the sense that like I'll try a new syrup in my coffee but I'm, I don't know I've always wanted to try a dirty chai and I don't know why I didn't and it was so yummy I think I like chai because it's not super sweet it's just like cinnamony so I was really proud of myself and I really enjoyed it I think thing is I don't like to try new coffees and drinks too often because I'm scared to not like it and then waste it and obviously like what the price and like economy right now we don't want to be wasting things you know but that was good and then I ate and yeah it was really nice to spend time by myself and guess what like nobody cares no one cares that you're sitting in a coffee shop by yourself I feel like that's the most normal place to do it so if you're looking to do more things by yourself and like get out in public by yourself I feel like a coffee shop or like a bookstore is a really great place to start because literally nobody cares and then I also got some work done, just some like emails and like business stuff on the computer. And um, obviously when you're working in a coffee shop or on a public network, it's super important to just be careful. Make sure you're taking into consideration like your protection because you know, public networks can be a scary place. And that's why I'm super excited to be partnering with Aura on today's video. I've worked with them before. Very, very passionate about staying safe online, especially not only as a creator, but we just consume so much internet nowadays and always on different public networks, whether you're in college or at work or anything so it's really important to stay safe online anyways aura is an easy to use app that has everything you need to stay safe online they have a vpn which if you guys don't know is just what allows you to stay anonymous online when you're browsing on public networks and it helps keep your browsing history and your personal information safe and encrypted so protect your devices from malware spyware and viruses so that the bad guys can't get in they'll also protect you from scammers on the internet so they will scan to make sure that your credit card information your social security number and all of that private information isn't appearing online anywhere so they'll automatically request it to be removed on your behalf they also give near real-time alerts on um, credit inquiries which obviously is super important to stay on top of the reason I love Aura the most is because it's everything in one most of the times you would have to have all of these different accounts for all of these different forms of protection so a password manager on one site and then a VPN on another site and then now you can have everything on one app that's easy to use which I love it just makes everything easier anyways it's one of those things I feel like is not talked enough about online and is so important especially in this day and age of doing so much online and like I said we're all at school and work and on all these different networks and it's super important to keep our information safe and you guys can let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online by clicking the link on the screen and in my description to get a two-week free trial anyways thank you so much to aura for partnering with me on today's video with that being said now we're at the library which is another place you should protect yourself because i feel like a lot of people go to the library to like study and do work and stuff and those public networks you got to be careful you guys you got to be careful i'm trying to be vulnerable here for a second i'm sure someone's gonna laugh at me but it's okay i grew up going to the library a ton i was a big reader growing up and the pandemic and all this stuff i feel like i look at the world with a new lens now of you know being very very mindful of germs and for some reason in the last few years the library has just really freaked me out when i think about it like too hard i just get like a little icked out because i feel like everyone's touching all these books and you're reading a book that a hundred other people have touched and you can't really clean pages just miss going to the library um i am someone who believes that you should spend on categories that make you happy so for me that's books and i'm not ashamed or saying that i've spent too much money on books or any of that you guys know i thrift like 90 percent of my books but we have a library close to the house and i just want to get back into the habit of going to the library especially just with how expensive books are nowadays and like newer releases or book club books we tend to read books in book club that aren't really necessarily like my style of books so I find that I buy them and then I'm always like disappointed and then I kind of feel like I've wasted my money and I just want to get back into the habit of going to the library I think it's a nice thing to do for myself and relax and self-care it up and 
I don't know, the thought of walking around the library with like a nice hot coffee or even coming here to get some work done. It's like so silly and I'm, I'm sure you guys are going to laugh at me for this, but it really is out of my comfort zone to go to the library. Not even to go, but to bring home a book. Like I know it's so silly, but to me, it's something that's out of my comfort zone, even though I used to go all the time. My little venture it's three and that was so much fun i feel just like so happy and like i said i know those things might be silly to some people but we all have our different comfort levels and i just kind of feel like like i did something today you know like i did something that wasn't comfortable for me and that kind of feels like growth i stopped at walmart because i had to pick up makeup wipes i figured i'd give you guys a little haul so first this is such a game changer. I use least of, I have a lot of flyaway, so I use the spoolie, spray some hairspray and flatten them, but the spoolie doesn't like last very long. So I end up getting these like 30 pack of mascara wands instead. Perfect. My current favorite primer and I was out, so I picked up another one. It's the Milani Bright Side. The only makeup wipes I will ever use, they are amazing. And then this is super random, but you guys know one of our 2023 goals in the house is to just like be on our phone less, which in a sense can be kind of uncomfortable. Matt and I love to read and play games, but I don't really have any games I can play by myself. And this just like brought me back to my childhood and I'm so excited. I don't know if anyone else has played this, but it's Rush Hour. I used to play this at the cottage so much growing up and I'm so excited I saw it. It was like $15 and I was like, yeah, you're coming home with me. Basically, if you guys don't know, it's this game where you have to like slide the red car out and there's a bunch of like different levels. Yeah, so there's basically all of these like different ways that you can put the cars in and your goal is to get the red car out. So I thought that'd be super fun. It also comes with like a little pouch, which is great if we bring it to the cottage, but I think I'll just keep the box. So that's my little Walmart haul. I'm going to take Silla out to go to the bathroom and then I'll give you guys a library book haul with this. You guys is why I said I didn't go to the library because a bunch of you DM'd me after and said that the Ottawa Public Library has a bed bug issue. So I kind of want to bring these books back and not bring them into my home. I'm kind of also debating getting a Kobo because Kobo, basically in Canada, you can't use Libby on your Kindle, only in the US or on your iPad, but I don't know who the hell is reading on an iPad. Like that must cramp your hand up so much. So I'm considering getting a Kobo and keeping my Kindle because they both just have like a lot of pros. Um, and then I could use and rent library books from Living in what or Overdrive onto my Kobo. So let me know if you guys have both. Because I know Caitlin De Silva does. But anyways, that's that. But now I'm terrified to read these books. I looked and I don't think there's bugs in any of them, but I'm like low-key terrified now. So something I've been trying to do too when I go to the dog park every night, if I don't go with Matt. Or when I go with Matt, is to not put my headphones on because you guys know I'm ironically I'm actually a really big introvert for someone who puts their life online. And when I go to the dog park, I just listen to a podcast and I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and not have anything on so that like if people try and make conversation with me, I can like talk to them. Um, which by the way, I never ignore anyone at the dog park. I'll usually just like you know give a little wave or a hi and then they see the headphones. But I've been trying to make conversation with strangers, which is super, super fun. But I know at the beginning of this video I gave you guys a bunch of suggestions. Um, but that's something I've also been doing as well. And yeah, oh, I have to go get the chef's plate, it's outside. But tonight we're actually having butter chicken, which is super exciting and scary. If you guys don't know, I have a metaphobia, which is the phobia of vomiting, which I've never actually talked about before, but it is like a big part of my life and it's a very crippling part in my life. And I'm slowly trying to get over it and it, not get over it. I don't think you'll ever get over it, but work through it. And I kind of go through waves, but it's just always been really crippling and because of that i and my ibs i've always had like safe foods to eat so there are foods you probably rarely ever see me order out in restaurants to avoid my chance of like potentially getting food poisoning or like 
some kind of undercooked issue so if I go out to eat I don't ever get chicken because if it's undercooked you can get sick and like yes I know any kind of meat you can but I stick with like red meat when I go out or vegetarian meals and yeah like if I hear that we're gonna go to like family dinner or something and I've heard that one of the kids has been sick or something like I immediately think I'm gonna get sick and I yeah it's just it's it is a big thing and I'm trying to work through it because I think it's really important to not let that control my life. With that being said, I have just foods that are safe to me and I don't like to try new cuisines or new spices or anything because I just don't know it and I like to stick with what I'm comfortable with. But that's what's been really nice about doing chef's plate or a meal delivery service is that I've kind of started to get out of my comfort zone and it's easier for me to do it when I'm at home and I'm the one making it. But... Something I've never had, which I can't believe I'm admitting this, is I've never had Indian food. I don't know why. And it's not even that I think Indian food will make me sick. That's not the correlation. It's just that I never really ate it growing up. So now I stick with foods that I know, if that makes sense. So we're going to have butter chicken tonight. We got like a, it's not like from a restaurant or anything. That's what I wanted to do. But we ended up getting one of the PC frozen meal kits to make it. And I personally like prefer if I'm going to try a new cuisine or something to start at home. So we're having that tonight, which I'm excited but nervous about. Um, but that's something I've never really opened up a lot about before. And that's why you see us make a lot of the same meals because they're just like safe foods for me. Um, but I'm really trying to get out of my comfort zone with food this year and try new things. And uh, yeah, I'm really proud of myself. So just a very raw vlog, a very vulnerable vlog, honestly. And... Yeah, I hope this challenges you guys to just even do like one thing outside of your comfort zone because it's scary but it's also very rewarding so we have just gone for a little walk around the block which is why I make these so pink and cold so what's going on do you want to see the books I got at the library you want to see I'll show you I don't really know why I'm sitting on the floor the lighting here is just honestly immaculate but four out of the five books I got were thrillers which is great first we were never here by Andrea Bartz I've heard a lot of I haven't heard anything actually. I just see this in the new release section everywhere. So pretty excited about it. That is the Dolly Parton and James Patterson book, Run, Rose, Run. Then I really loved Rock, Paper, Scissors. So I'm excited to try another one of her books, Alice Feeney, His and Hers. This one I'm really pumped about. It was an express one, so I have to read it in the next seven days, but it's Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Jillian was her name McAllister I think McAllister yeah so I'm really really excited about this the only thing is I hate the the like I hate when the text is like in the middle and it's not for me and then I just picked this one up because why not this is more than words by Jill Santopolo I read the light we lost and I didn't mind it it wasn't amazing for me um but I don't know kind of sounded interesting and that is another thing is I like to try you know new books and you don't feel bad because you're not buying them i'm also legit checking all of them for bed books because i'm terrified low-key terrified i mean i'm sure they like put them through a heat thing or something i don't know but matt will be home in about an hour and like i said we'll go to the dog park and then kind of just take you guys along on our normal evening except we're trying fun new foods and oh i also wanted to talk about this because this is Another thing for me is that I feel like getting out of your comfort zone can even be something as simple as like a show or a movie. You guys know last year I dabbled into fantasy, which I feel like everyone dabbles into fantasy with Akatar. But I also recently started watching Game of Thrones, which you guys know if you follow along with the vlogs. And I didn't expect to love it as much as I did. And I am so obsessed. There's just like something about fantasy that's just... Like, I just want to watch it every second of every day. So maybe this is your sign to start with, like, a show or a movie that you wouldn't normally watch and give it a go. Like, put your phone down, pay attention. I will say the first season of Game of Thrones, like, the first half of the season was so confusing because it's a lot of world building, a lot of characters. But now that we're on season three, I'm so into it. And, yeah, so that's another suggestion is, like, trying a new show or movie. I think that's really fun. What do you think? What is your suggestion for doggies that want to get out of the comfort zone? Maybe go to a new dog park, try a new puppuccino, go on a different car ride, you know, do all those things. What else could you do to get out of your comfort zone? Maybe go somewhere new with your mommy and your daddy, try new tweets, 
still does that. Still has a new kibble topper right now. <laughs> but anyways, those are just some fun. Oh, great. I got her too excited. Yeah, I don't want you guys to think that, you know, I'm like the happiest gal because like I post on my Instagram story, I've been crying all morning, but it's never too late to turn your day around and do something fun and something you love. So, yeah, but I think I'm gonna have, I need some like water or something. I'm thirsty. Maybe I'll start reading a book. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Come on, we have to go. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. All right. Matthew has prepared the butter chicken mm -hmm. for me. Is it good? The pizza? I, I, I just love butter chicken. Really? Though. I really like butter chicken. I've never had any food. All right. Mmm. Okay, it's not as spicy as I thought. It's not meant to be. It's like creamy. Yeah. Well, because it's butter chicken. Where, it's kind of good. It's like very comforting. Mm -hmm. It's like a stew, like you said. Yeah. It's wow. not meant to be. They have spicy ones, but it's not meant to be a spicy food. See? You miss out on these things when you don't try new foods. Like me. This is yummy. Mm -hmm.